Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Can you hear me? Yeah, now I can hear you. Oh, great. Um, at first, uh, I want to say thank you for participating in the interview. Um, today, we will hear your views, your opinion about the important issues, which are very important for all of us. And we're glad to hear your opinion about the situation. Thank you very much. So, um, according to your opinion, uh, how did the history of the Palestine-Israel conflict start? Uh, thank you. It's very interesting question, uh, but it, it is uh, very um, uh, practical. So uh, I want to begin about the Belfer Declaration uh, was issued in 1917, uh, which stipulated the, the establishment of a national homeland of the Jews in Palestine. Uh, colonial Britain began facilitating the migration of Jews to Palestine as the British mandate uh, confiscated Palestinian lands uh, and sold them to the Zionist movement. Uh, the Balfour Declaration can be summarized uh, as giving those who don't have to those who don't have, who don't deserve. Um, as for the Zionist narrative that says that Palestine is a land without a people, for a people without a land, it is not absolutely true. Uh, and there is no scientific or historical documentation that confirms this. Rather, history confirms the existence of the Palestinian people for thousands of years in the land of Palestine. There was, there was no conflict between the Jews and the Arabs in Palestine before the birth of the Zionist movement supported by the imperialist and colonial countries. It was Zionist organization that formed a military gangs such as the Haganah, which committed massacres against the Palestinians, which led to the immigration of 800,000 800, Palestinians from their land. And until now, Israel refuses giving them the right to return in accordance with the United Nations Resolution in 1948. Until now, the international community has not granted the right to establish a Palestinian state in accordance with the Resolution of United Nations General Assembly, and Israel has confiscated more Palestinian lands, displacement, uh, of Palestinian and residents, killed the civilians, and demolished homes. Uh, as for Hamas, uh, is an uh, essential part of the Palestinian Islamic resistance in Gaza Strip, which carries the project of liberating Palestine from Zionist occupation but with an Islamic theory and ideology, uh, it is allied with the national liberation forces that also aim to end, to end the Israeli occupation of Palestine, but with a different ideology as the entire Palestinian people unite on the need to end the Israeli occupation of the Palestinian territory. Um, but we, what uh, Hamas role in this conflict? Hamas had a role of uh, 
liberation uh, army and or nation liberation parties as DFLP, PFLP, Fatah, and Jihad. So now we have a united of a operation, a army operation room. This is uh, control the uh, battle now, uh, which which all of the Palestinian factions as PLO and the external of PLO share with the uh, Al-Aqsa fluid operation. Um, what do you think about uh, who is right in this um, current new round of military conflict or who of the warring parties are right? Um, okay, if I want to talk about who is right, uh, first we want to talk about the uh, DFLP considered that operation in Jerusalem flood, uh, Jerusalem or Aqsa flood came in response to the repeated Israeli crimes against the Palestinian people, the incursions into countryards of Al-Aqsa Mosque, uh, the expansion of settlements, project of displacement, Judaization, ethnic cleansing, the and demolition of homes, the resistance of the fascist and racist Israeli occupation government headed by Netanyahu on the plan to annex the Palestinian lands and the rejection of force of for Saudi Israeli normalization and all settlements project. Uh, that threaten the rights of the Palestinian, namely their uh, right to self-determination on their land, ending the Israeli occupation, establishing their independent Palestinian state with Jerusalem as its capital. With all certainty, the Palestinian resistance is, is exactly and, uh, and certainty uh, certainty uh, is the right after the international community was unable to find a solution to the Palestinian issue and did not condemn Israeli of, for its crimes, but rather supported uh, Israel with weapons and money in order to maintain the occupation especially since Israel did not implement international law or international legitimacy resolution and besiege the Palestinians specific in Gaza, depriving them of water, food, electricity, so which has been witnessing as an Israel siege uh, on Gaza for 17 years. There are 5,000 Palestinian and Israeli prisons suffering from torture, medical neglect, and the preventing the prevention of family act family visits. There are dozens of body of Palestinian martyrs who died while in Israeli prisons. So, if sure that Palestinian resistance is the right. Um, do you think uh, Arab countries and uh, Muslim world in general will help Palestine's people? Um, uh, the Arab and Islamic peoples are mainly supportive of the Palestinian people and their national rights. But there are some official Arab regimes that signed agreements with Israel and emerged from the Arab-Israeli conflict. But the Arab peoples still put great pressure on these regimes. Despite the importance of the Palestinian issue and the Arab people, it is difficult to enter to a war for 
the sake of to, of ending the Israeli occupation and establishing uh, uh, an independent Palestinian uh, state with Jerusalem as a capital and return of Palestinian refugees and Israel's application of international law and implementation of international legitimacy resolutions. So Israel is using the uh, religions factor because it is uh, uh, is no history or civilians of Palestine and therefore it's trying to steal the Palestinian heritage, Judaize Jerusalem, expand illegal settlement, annex the Palestinian lands. So for this reason, so I can't believe now uh, that uh, we will go to a, a, a big war or regional war uh, shared by the Arabs country because now uh, the first uh, the the main idea it's to ending the Israeli occupation and this is uh, related to the uh, Israeli attack. So when Israel will uh, will make the aggression against Lebanon, against Syria, uh, that is happening now. Now Israel attack and aggression the uh, border in South Lebanon. So we will, if we will continue for this attack and illegal and uh, make the uh, war crimes against the Palestinian and the Lebanese people and the Syrian people, so it can be a, a regional uh, war uh, and uh, many of front against Israel, so that it uh, it related about the aggression of Israel and the type of aggression of Israel and their attacks. Um, can this uh, case a uh, holy jihad to begin against the uh, against Israel and the U.S. that supports them? Uh, now, uh, about, uh, related about the USA, uh, so uh, USA don't don't doesn't have a new what we what to give to the Palestinian. So we have now there are many of resolution uh, and uh, and uh, uh, international law uh, should be applied in the Palestinian territory. So the USA apply, uh, uh, make a sanctions against uh, the uh, prosecutor, uh, uh, ancient prosecutor Fatou Ben Souda of the uh, ICC, uh, because it's open an investigation uh, in Palestine. So and give uh, a more of sanctions uh, and uh, economics, um, sanctioned economic disavisement. So. Um, make many of uh, uh, strategy against the Palestinian people. Uh, so uh, I think the USA now uh, have has a, 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 a politics related to the uh, war of uh, Russia and Ukraine, and have a, 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 a political related to the uh, expansion of uh, China. Uh, and uh, the Middle East is one of the point of view and one of the, uh, uh, um, what means, one of the uh, 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 plan to, uh, uh, to use against Israel and against uh, uh, China and Russia. So uh, uh, USA use an Israel uh, as an alliance against uh, the uh, free people and uh, to make uh, and uh, 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 give the weapons to, pr to protect the American uh, political in the Middle East. Is it possible to view the conflict between Palestine and Israel in the religious terms as a direct clash between Islam and Judaism? 
uh, uh, first, uh, the war, it's not, uh, uh, the Palestinian question is not a religious war. Uh, because I, uh, I, 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 uh, I tell in, in, in the first uh, question, uh, the Jews and the Arab uh, doesn't have don't have any uh, problem uh, and any conflict uh, before the before the uh, uh, born of Zionist. So uh, the Palestinian-Israeli conflict is for the Palestinian people to obtain all of their legitimate national rights and to dismantle the Israeli apartheid. Uh, and colonial regime. So the conflict is essentially with the Zionist movement supported by global imperialism and not with the Jewish religion. It must to be emphasized uh, that the conflict takes place on Palestine land that Zionist armed gangs stole from the Palestinians. It is a conflict over lands and rights and not uh, it's it's not a completely um, a religious conflict. Thank you. I understand uh, your answer. Thank you. Um, so, uh, who do you think will win this conflict, and can it be um, ended peacefully through a negotiated process? Uh, first, uh, of course, the uh, uh, the win is uh, every time the uh, free people, and when we when we talk about the resistance and uh, the uh, mainly resistance and people resistance, so uh, uh, the people, uh, the Palestinian people, and all of the people in the world uh, every time win the conflict but about the negotiation for 30 years the palestinian authority has been negotiate, negotiating with israel and the negotiating have only led to an increase in illegal settlements and the annexation of palestinian lands and the displacement of palestinians israel reject all settlements and initiatives that give the Palestinians the right to self-determination and refuse to end the, its occupation of the Palestinian lands. Uh, all the people in the world gained their independence through resistance in all, uh, on all its forms, including armed resistance, because rights are not granted, but, but rather are taken away through resistance. There is no real peace without justice. And there is no justice without to giving the people the right. And now this is the demand of Palestinian resistance. We need to establish a Palestinian state and end the occupation of our land and returning the Palestinian refugees to, to to their lands because it, it put, to apply the 194 resolutions. Then, however, once true peace doesn't uh, support Israel armed and arm it to kill the Palestinian civilians. So when the USA and the international community need to peace, we should you sh should it should to stopping the support Israel uh, and give the armed and bobbing to kill the Palestinian. So, uh, and uh, finally, uh, the, the negotiation cannot be between the, uh, the uh, who is strong and uh, the, the other part, it's not strong, it doesn't strong. So it, we should be equal to negotiation and uh, the negotiation cannot be uh, justice uh, uh, anytime because the Israel have uh, intelligence 
and uh, and armed and armed uh, uh, occupation uh, and more of uh, uh, economics and the strategy but the palestinian just have has uh, have the right uh, uh, their rights and we should to uh, uh, apply the international law and this is all of palestinian uh, demands Do you want to say something more about this on this topic? Maybe something you want to say. Uh, first, now what happening in Gaza? Now Gaza in the uh, big siege. It's uh, Gaza. It's a three hundred sixty kilometer uh, square. Now Gaza. It's have. It's a. It. It. It's not. It doesn't. Uh, uh, without electricity, without food, without uh, uh, without medical, uh, so we we talk about um, a different uh, uh, now the, uh, Gaza now uh, I can uh, talk with a uh, uh, big prisons, so all of the I I call all the all of the international community to 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 uh, to say for israel you should stop stopping uh, this uh, inter this crimes against the palestinians now israel it's not don't don't apply the international law in this war so when we talk about the thousands of martyrs of palestinian martyrs so what we should do now the palestinians in gaza died died and died hungry and we don't the palestinian don't have the water in gaza now the, the palestinian don't have the medical to to uh, related to the wounded so we should stopping now the international this this israeli crimes and we should to uh, we should to, to the ICC International Criminal Court to open a, an investigation about the Israeli crimes, and the international community should support uh, the ICC to open this investigations. That's that's all uh, questions that I had for you, and I want to say thank you for your answers, for participating, and <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's it. Um, thank you, thank you uh, very much, and I'm very appreciated and thanks uh, to open this. Uh, this uh, platform to to talk about uh, the Palestinians and the tragedy of Palestinians in Gaza and in the world, because each uh, region exists that Palestinian uh, peoples have a specific suffering and a tragedy. We should to go to know to, uh, you know the Palestinian in Lebanon doesn't have the right to work, doesn't have the right to register their houses uh, officially. So in, in C the Palestinian refugees in Syria ha has, uh, ha have a, a, a different sufferance in Gaza, in West Bank, the killed of the civilians. Uh, the Palestinian diaspora in Europe we, we, we yesterday I viewed the uh, the violation of the human rights against the Palestinians in Germany uh, with the Palestinian with the uh, uh, Germany and Germany uh, uh, police uh, which attack and which uh, uh, made the violence against uh, the protests uh, uh, with. 
uh, with uh, with the uh, Palestinians and the, uh, with the uh, protest uh, which uh, support the Palestinian uh, in Gaza. So the human rights everywhere, everywhere related to the Palestinian, it's not apply. So the Palestinians need the humanity and their human rights to be preserved in all time and anyone. Yes, I agree with you because uh, um, every person, every human in entire world uh, have their rights to live, just to live their lives. And this is unfair what's going on. And I hope everything will be uh, fine soon. That it's going to be end ending that to end come sorry that it'll come to end so um thank you for this interview your opinion your words are really important uh, to hear thank you very much and i hope to be in contact every time and to give you uh, the news about the gaza uh, uh, the Gaza and uh, more of the Palestinian questions. Yes, of course, it's really important. We'll be in touch. Uh, big things and bye bye. Goodbye. Bye bye.